guys, Shannon here. It's Mommy and Me Monday. And today we're gonna share with you our story um, about how we got started and how we um, started our business yep. um, as teachers, our own business, not teaching um, in the public school and the daycare centers anymore, but doing it on our own. Mm -hmm. So really excited to share with you just for a little bit and show you some clips of the students that we've had in the past years and just let you know what our backstory is right. so you really get to know who uh mommy and yes. me are and experience the journey yes mm -hmm. so here's um in short a little story and why we started mom so basically when i had the little the much younger ones in the academy i knew that i had a love for teaching and I also wanted to teach them on their level. Because a lot of times when you're working in the academy, as you know, Shannon, yes. you have to stay with their with their um, system, with their procedure. So first of all, you have to learn A, B, and C in week two, three, and four. If they don't get it, if they don't get it in that week, you have to move on. I mean, you give them other tools to get it, but you basically don't stay there. When you're in home, in your own home, mm -hmm. It's so much easier. You can go at your own pace and you can work with that child until that child gets it. That way, you know, they've learned it. They just didn't memorize mm -hmm. it, even though memory is part of, of learning, but they actually learned it. It's in here. So it'll always come back. And that's basically, you know, why I wanted to teach. I would always say, if I ever had my own school, mm -hmm. this is how I would do it. Mm -hmm. And God just started, the wheel started turning and then, you know... The rest, as they say, is history. It's history, mm -hmm. and you have your own. I have my own um, preschool, preschool and, and kindergarten, kindergarten readiness, readiness program. program. It went from a daycare yes, to it preschool did. and kindergarten readiness program, and you've been doing this for how many years? Over twelve years. Over twelve yeah, years. Yeah, long. yeah, yeah. I used to have the infants when it was a daycare, mm -hmm. and then I started teach. We had a curriculum. And then the, once they turned two, they started the curriculum with my older ones. Yes. Yep. And then when three years ago, two years ago, I turned, we moved here to Glen Burnie, Maryland, and that's when I had my preschool. Now I have my preschool and kindergarten readiness program, and it's not the infants anymore. Although infants are always my passion, I love the babies. Yes. So that's how she um, got started. Mm -hmm. And of course, the apple doesn't fall too far um, from the tree. In 2017, um, I taught uh, as a lead teacher for the first time. I've been in the school system and teaching for over 10 years, mm, um, but I was wow. always an assistant. All assistant teacher, assistant teacher, assistant teacher. Nothing wrong with it. Shout no. out to all the, the assistant assistants. teachers. <laughs> but I was always comfortable in that lane. Right. And in 2017, I got out of that lane and yeah. was a lead teacher. And in my uh, preschool class, where my mom was able to come in and be my I assistant, assistant. Uh, halfway through the school year, it was really awesome. She it had the opportunity mm -hmm. to come in. Mm -hmm. um, by the end of the year, we had two um, of our students pass the early entry um, exam to kindergarten because their parents felt like they were ready and they're Absolutely. soaring and the children who were in our preschool and even in her program yes. um, in the past years are soaring and they're at their highest level, level. in their classrooms. Mm -hmm. And reading so, as well. Yes, they're reading, writing, mm -hmm. and of course above all, mm -hmm. the ABCs and the one two threes. Mm -hmm. that's awesome and mm -hmm. that's um, our goal mm -hmm. but uh, the love that uh, we get to share for the children, yes. the, the personal time, yes. the one-on-one -on -one experience experience mm -hmm. um, with their parents mm -hmm. and just inviting them into our homes yes, and them and feeling our lives. Um, a part of our family. Yes. This is why we do it. This you is can't why we do get it. that in um, the public school you setting. You Unfortunately, uh, there's nothing wrong with um, the school systems. Mm -hmm. um, we, we love the school systems, but it's a, it's nice for us to be able to offer something um, to parents That's right. um, outside of a that. A little more personable and yes. you can see the growth. Yes. You oh, see absolutely. the growth. The parents yes. see the growth. Yeah, yes. we had one of my students, he was admitted into the hospital, you know, he needed some work done and he held the door for the nurse and he told her ladies first and she said, oh my God, mom and dad, you're doing awesome. And they said, oh no. <laughs> Miss Ken, his teacher, taught him, taught that. him that. Yeah, yeah. yes, yep. Yeah. So that's... it's the little, the little, little, things little things that makes your heart swell and remind you, this is why I'm doing yes, this. Yes, this is why we do it. Mm -hmm. This is 
why we uh, care for the children. Yeah. We teach the children. Mm -hmm. And uh, the love factor is yes. the number one it's reason the number one. above them all. Yep. This is our story and this is why we do it. When you're tired, mm -hmm. don't, don't ever quit. Ever quit. Yep. And it's the love. <laughs> yes. I just realized I had Yeah, them. you have on that yeah, t-shirt. Yeah. It's for yep. working out. but Don't ever quit. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. And, and, and we did it. And yes. we're doing it. And we're excited um, to take it to places that we've yet to see. That's right. So we just wanted to share with you guys a little mm. bit about our story. Yep. Um, we, we normally share uh, what... Uh, you can do in the classroom or what we can do in the classroom. But this time we decided to share mm -hmm. our backstory. Background, yes. Yes.